I work as a technician at SCP Transport, which is a transportation consultant. I work with schemes that can vary from velodromes and cycle tracks all the way through to wind farms. I can work with retail sites such as ASDA sites. You can be on the phone to a contractor uh, answering questions about how to build something. You can be on the phone to, I don't know, a utilities provider asking them if they need to move, move some cable in for a, a new highway. Or even you can be producing joins that maybe go, are going to get built. So with wind farms you'd probably work with the delivery of the wind farm so you'd have to get like a 50 meter long vehicle <laughs> around bends uh, that you'd never imagine getting around in villages that you've probably never heard of in your life you know going back a bit when I was when I was younger I, I always kind of knew I wanted to be uh, within civil engineering it was actually when I first visited a, a big football ground in Manchester called uh, Old Trafford I kind of had to tour around the stadium and I realised it's what I wanted to do. So at the time I wanted to do state stadium and arena design. When I was in school, I told my careers advisor I wanted to do that and they advised me on certain ways to go. They advised me to go to a local college, but I was a bit more keen on trying to get something a bit more specialist. So I went to Leeds College of Building, uh, did a bit of research on it, had a look around uh, and ended up going there. I didn't know hardly anything about civil engineering, to be honest. Uh, with my GCSEs, I... Um, I was average, you know, now you kind of get helped to develop and they kind of put you through all your education. I mean, now I'm on my HND and it's all been done through my apprenticeship. Whilst I was at Leeds College Building, I got transferred from the BTEC uh, Level 3 in Construction and Built Environment through to the Civil Engineering BTEC Level 3 and I got given the opportunity to go to a transportation uh, department. Uh, as an apprentice to, to you know just to try it try out so I did my work experience there uh, I enjoyed the work experience with what I did uh, and about a month later I got an offer of a job when I came into um, into the company I was a junior technician and I was kind of at the bottom of the chain but I came in that way in probably what I would say the best way because you can either do that or you can go to university and go in as a graduate so you're coming in a bit higher you're coming at a bit more wage but you've kind of also got the student loan and everything else to worry about. So coming in in the way I've come in, I think, will be a better way for anyone who doesn't want to worry about that student loan, who just wants to, you know, get in and, and learn straight away because you probably learn a lot more being in the office and being in college at the same time. You'd probably have to be ambitious, a team player, and just really want to work hard for yourself to get somewhere. My, my ambition uh, would be to at least become, ha have my own team, you know, have my own, be able to be a lead designer by the age of at least 30 or something, or even, you know, because personally, in my personal life, it, it betters myself for, for wages and everything, but then in your career, you, you, you get a lot more satisfied, you know, you get a bit more satisfied with it because you're designing your own, your own schemes, you're managing your own people, and I think that's, that's what I enjoy doing I enjoy the management I enjoy the design well when I, when I first started it was I, I was working for a restaurant chain a major restaurant chain and I was on a uh, I'm sure people have heard of him a zero hour contract so at the time my money was a bit you know rubbish and I came in and it was just like wow I've, I've got a full-time job you know I, I get paid you know guaranteed pay every every month it does go up and the industry I'm in doesn't you can get the wages in that that perhaps other industries don't give I mean I know people in other industries who probably want to earn half as much as I've got the potential to earn so you know with, with hard work like I say you know you can earn, earn a lot of money you're work, you're, you are working for a company but you're also working for a client you know someone so they're paying you to do something and if there's either tight money on a job or something's gone wrong on a job and you need to somehow recoup that doesn't always happen but when it does mount it, it really does <laughs> so it's probably the worst thing. I love seeing new places and, and going new places all the time. Um, I've been down to London, I get paid to go down to London, uh, been to Wales, spent a lot of time in Newcastle, uh, 
you get paid to go to these places, see these places do the work, and uh, it's probably my, one of my favourite things. And I think probably if I was to pick anything else, it's the satisfaction of seeing something you've de you've designed being built. Uh, I've had I've had that kind of luxury of going on site recently, and I've seen something I've I've designed actually being used by people and being built, and it's just you can't describe the feeling of pride in that. When I first went to college, I had a closed mind that I wanted to do stadium and arena design. I wanted to be the next big thing. Uh, I got offered a job in transportation, and I've never looked back because I, I enjoyed the challenges so much. But that was just having an open mind. So I'd probably probably tell them tell them that to take any chances, have that open mind. But I'd probably also tell them to remain ambitious and just keep working hard at what they're doing, and they'll reap the rewards, you know, before they know it.